hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nano-angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate, hate! It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room. She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> the room is padded, Gorster. No way out. No way out. How long has she been in the past, Gorster? 10 years? 25? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> Mm, and I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into mm, the hideous, warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman in a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! So think. Think about the yellow box, Ellen. Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexy stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. Be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? 
tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? I guess I'm playing your little game here, Ham. Oh, by the way, hello everyone, my name is Logan Mansion of Logan Mansion Games, and I'm just welcoming you all to a game called uh, Harlan Ellison's I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, which, yes, is slightly based off of the um, short story of the same name, but I guess it serves as a sequel of sorts? I don't know. So yeah, I got like five characters I can pick from. Ted, who's like the main character and the narrator, unreliable narrator of the short story. You got a Nimdoc there, who's origin story is left unknown in the in the um, short story, though this one he seems like a Nazi scientist. Benny here, who was like a um, who was like a gay college professor, but this one right here, but was like transformed into, you know, where he couldn't really think very well, not to mention he regularly has sex with Ellen. Ellen, I uh, Ted seems to be an unreliable narrator, so he says she's a slut, and he was a peace marcher turned, um, shoulder shrugger. I think I'll go with Benny first. Benny, you know you've always been my favorite torture tool. Well, I'm giving you now a chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Yeah. Also, Am is voiced by um, Harlan Ellison. See, I think I'll go up. They can either go up or whatever. Just click anywhere on the screen. Woo! Am, you son of a bitch. You've cleared my mind but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. Yeah, fucking asshole. This graveyard gives me the creeps. I mean, yeah, graveyards are I creepy. feel as though the dead could speak. They do look like they have heads. Apparently this Benny is a war criminal given that little description Am gave. Nimdok seems to be one, too. This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos killed in the war. What war? This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. Vines. I wonder if they're edible. Well, I mean, I'm sure you would forget it, Benny, considering that you were basically, um, you know, kept as Am's little torture toy for like 109 years. Apparently I can't eat it. I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Oh god. Bill you dude. Well, I mean I Never really know what that fully felt like to not eat for months, considering you'd probably be dead, realistically. But eating for more than 
know. A while would fucking hurt. Okay, um... Look at this. Use twine. I can't shake any fruit loose from the baskets. Rat. Look at psych profile. Cultural reference. Cannibalism has been practiced by a number of cultures through human history, usually to denigrate enemies or to acquire qualities of victims. Oh yeah, isn't this a reference to how in the short story, um, Benny was started eating Gorister's face? He was so hungry. Because, you know, Am... Am gave them, um, hands of fruit, but didn't even give him a can opener. What the fuck, smart one? I don't know what to do with this. So much for the friggin' welcome wagon. Okay. What's your problem, dude? A fruit tree. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. Am once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches. Only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. Yeah, see, that's a reference to the short story. There's so much fruit growing on this tree. It must be the village's food source. Probably. This fruit looks ripe and sweet. Fruit. He's coughing up blood right there. Apparently he can't really eat it this food. Fuck you, Am. Impressive. Someone important must live here. The village elder, I suppose. This old fart looks too scrawny to be gathering nuts and berries. He must be the village elder or something. <laughs> this old fart. A bag. Maybe there's food in it. There's a video screen built into the cave wall. Hey, ignore the newcomer. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice. I have spoken. Sacrifice? I wouldn't know what to do with this even if I could take it. Wita Fuma Piba. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. Uh, okay. This looks like a, what did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. Wow, what a fucking asshole, Benny. I can see why I am fucking hates you. Then again, he probably hates Looks like me. some kind of altar. Yeah, I think this is what he was talking about with the sacrifice. Nothing but twisted wiring and recycled plastic. What's with the ropes on the cross beams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. Well, yeah, I think this is like crucifying them. I mean, it does look like a cross. This cave is larger than the others. It's a goddamn supermarket! <laughs> This guard looks a lot stronger than me, but not too bright. Blondie only seems to be interested in guarding the food. <laughs> Blondie? This guy looks bald. Primitive. These people are even more backwards than those gooks in Southeast Asia. Jesus! Fucking racist, dude. Then again, you are pretty classist, considering you were basically talking shit about those like that one person and their kid with by calling them welfare parasites. Mm. 
What's cooking in this pot? I don't know. Hurts! 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 Apparently can't eat it either. Probably not because it's too hot. This swill's made of transistors and springs. So metal stuff, unedible stuff. A bed made out of vines. Looks comfortable enough. The boy's a friggin' mutant. There's a third arm growing out of his back. This woman looks half starved, just like her son. Fat chance of getting a decent meal out of either of them. What is that? What do you mean by that? Are you gonna eat them or get food from them? This video screen has been tampered with. There are wires hanging out of it. That son of a bitch am ripped out my vocal cords years ago. What a dick. That son of a bitch am. I can't use this video screen with its innards hanging out. The boy's a friggin' mute. I coughed up blood the last time I bit into this fruit. Here you go, have some fruit. Oh, thank you for food. You're welcome. How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using Am screen. I am smart. But villagers think smart is defective. I wish I were strong, so then they would give me food, too. Haha. <laughs> Not so much welfare parasites are they, then. Defective? That's tough. Sometimes. But I am spared lottery. Villagers are afraid of me. Lottery? What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Am. Is that altar in the jungle used for the sacrifices? Yes. Pieces of victim are scattered around it. How long have these sacrifices been going on? The sacrifice to Am machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. Not many villagers left. Uh, let's see. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrifice, so Am does not hurt all. So Am just likes playing God. You look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I not allowed in food cave. Villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. Oh, wow, there's such fucking assholes in this world. Maybe Benny is perfect for him given the way he sees people. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. Yeah, I would imagine. Are the victims buried in the graveyard? I know nothing about graveyard. No? I am very hungry. Where can I get some food? There is fruit in food cave. It comes from the trees. I thought those were your old army buddies in the graveyard there, Benny. I tried eating the fruit. It only made me sick. You bleed when you eat. When I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first, and then fed me. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. <laughs> I have food right here. Oh wait, no, I gave it to him. Okay, well, I'll go get some, some more. Uh, 
Ah, mana from heaven. Yeah, it probably tastes like boiled boar urine. <clears throat> but yeah, um... For some reason I wasn't able to use this before. There you go. Can you chew this for me? Amazing. This woman digested the food and then regurgitated it back to me, like a bird feeding its young. I mean, that's kind of gross, but whatever. But I say Benny seems happy, and the background right there is green. The music's changing, too. <sighs> I am getting very tired. You now family. You use our bed. Go sleep. Well, thank you. Good night. <sighs> oh, that sleep wasn't nearly long enough. Hmm, I wonder where the boy's mother went. I totally relate, Benny. Sometimes I feel like sleeps aren't even long enough. Save. I'll save it. Um, Logan 2. There we go. Where's your mom? Isn't she at the sacrifice or something? Where is your mother? She go to altar to help choose Am's sacrifice. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. It's quiet. Too quiet. Ah, mama from heaven. Looks like it's empty. Oh, God. Looks like a primitive cradle. It's empty. I wonder where the baby is. Oh, God. It's, Jesus, I think I'm in, hungry. Oh, God. I think in the original version of this, Benny could actually eat the baby in there. There's a video screen built into the cave wall. It seems to be in all of them. It's damp in here. At least the fire's warm. Yeah. Vines. I wonder if they're edible. Probably not, considering that, you know, you basically bleed from eating certain things, but whatever. Hurts! 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 You can see a little bit of blood right there. What is that thing on Benny's, like, neck and around his head? Is that like a collar? Ah, shit, I did something wrong right there. I guess I wasn't supposed to look at that. Cultural reference. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Is proverb meaning that a person who... What does that say? Meaning that a person who has found something can keep it and the loser has no right to... Wow, that fucking messed up. But whatever. Uh, we'll just... See, look at that. I'll make sure not to read this book. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. Ah, mana from heaven. Why is everyone gathered around the altar? The sacrifice. Why is everyone gathered around the altar? The old fart seems to be in charge here. <laughs> Nothing but twisted wiring and recycled plastic. What's with the ropes on the cross beams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. Natana Shama, halt! He doesn't want me to interfere with the sacrifice. The old fart seems to be in Looks like some kind of lottery. That's the mutant child's mother. Oh, she got unlucky. 
you got the black one, the black marble. Why is the child's mother, why the child's mother has been tied up to the altar? It looks like she's been chosen to be sacrificed. Well, I can't really do anything. You ask if you can eat her instead. Well, I, I guess I'll have to just watch, unfortunately. Wita Fuma Piba. It sounds like he'll let me watch. Amvila Tajo. I am Am the Great and Powerful. Uh, you didn't bring me Toto, but I accept the chosen one. You shall not feel my wrath today. Am I swell or what? <laughs> Fuck you. Judas Priest. Am blasted her to bits. What am I going to do for food now? <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of fucked up that that's your first thing you think of. But I mean, I kind of don't blame him considering, like, she basically chews up the food for you and stuff. So you got to eat something. But whatever. There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. I wonder if they're going to bury the remains. Probably not. But yeah, there's apparently... burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces. I wonder. But yeah, she's like a skeleton, like a robotic skeleton right there. The old fart looks pleased with himself about having saved his village for another day, no matter how many lives it costs. Why is everyone gathered around the altar? You just witnessed it, Benny. How did you get back here so quick? Looks like it's empty. It's damp in here. At least the fire is warm. Yeah. There's a video screen built into the cave wall. Looks like a primitive cradle. It's empty. I wonder where the baby is. Jesus, I'm hungry. Vines. I wonder if they're edible. Don't eat them. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the cave with the uh, three-armed boy. Oh wait, this isn't it. This one. Here we go. Hey kid, I'm sorry about what happened to your mom. I'm sorry. Your mother is dead. I know. Me sorry too. She only wants to care for me. Except you. What? That's not true. I can't take care of you. I have my own problems. Well, what a fucking asshole. What ha what will happen to you? What will happen to you? No food. No safe room lottery. Either way, not good. Oh, it doesn't sound good. Why don't you run away from here? Why don't you run away from here? Bad idea to run. Villagers hunt me down. Become sacrificed to Am Machine. So they'll just try and find you anyway? I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Look at this, there are skulls right there on that fence. Okay, that there was, I have no mouth and I must scream. So yeah, it's a pretty fun little game here. Pretty good game so far. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just end the video right here, but if you liked it, make sure to click the like button. And, uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. But as always, thank you all for watching and have a great day. Bye, everyone.